So in this uh, demo we're going to build a mobile ADF mobile application that fonts uh, ADF business components. So what we have here is we have an ADFBC project that we created on department and employees. I'm just going to do one thing here uh, which is to add a new view criteria to the department view. So let's add a find by location option and we'll simply define it as the ability to search based on a parameter for a location. Okay, so now we have this view um, criteria for the departments. So in order to work with ADFBC for a mobile application you need to have web service based access and ADFBC makes it quite easy to create those. You double click your application model, go into the service interface and then you can create a web service interface for your application. This is important, this is the web service name, I'm going to copy it. Okay. Then we're going to click next a couple of times. Over here we can choose which views we actually want to expose to web services. Maybe we don't need all the views, so in our case we're going to take the department view and then you can choose which operations you actually want to enable on the view. So in my case I'm just going to use um, the find and the get by key operations on this view object. If you also need to do an update you can choose update create or other operations. The other thing that you can choose here is the view criteria that you want to expose. So I want to add the find by location view criteria over here. So this one will also be exposed in our service interface. When you click finish, JDeveloper goes off and creates a service interface. You can actually see it over here. This is the actual web service and if you actually want to test it, right click on it and choose run. When the deployment is done, you'll get this URL over here. Okay? And this is for, oh sorry, this is the URL that we're actually interested in. This is for the model part of our project. So let's copy this one. Okay? Let's open a browser. and paste this in here and um, when you just go over there you won't get anything right but if you append to it the name of your service okay so the app model service you'll get an interface that will actually allow you to test your service so you can test for example the get departments view method where you can search for a department by the ID of that department. So let's look up Department 30, click Invoke, and get the results. So the important thing from here, this is the URL, is actually the service description, this is the WSDL file that describes your service. So you want to copy this one, Okay. Make sure that you have the right IP address here, so actually the IP address that I'm currently using is this one. Okay, so copy this one, and now you can start developing your mobile application.